In this video I'm going to show how to import your OneNote uh, digital planner from Happy Downloads. Um, we would have sent you a link to the relevant uh, planner files um, that take you to OneDrive in the browser. So in the top right just make sure you're logged in. If it says sign in here just make sure you enter your details first before going to the next step. Then just select the planner you wish to use. So I'm just going to use the black paper undated Monday horizontal. It then uses, uh, opens up in OneNote online. This kind of registers the planner. So we now just go back down here, go into your app that you wish to use. Then just go to more notebooks. This is an iPad, there's a separate video for the Surface Pro and uh, the Windows. Um, so hopefully this um, helps you for the iPad and check out the other videos for the other devices. Um, you'll see at the top now, black paper undated Monday horizontal, read only, so just tap this. What that will do now is um, start importing that planner in. While it's loading, what we can do is just go to the bottom left and do add a notebook. Just going to call this new notebook. What we're now going to do is firstly delete this new section, so just long press on it and then just go to the trash bin here, delete, then go to the actual read-only version. You can see this is read-only, so you can't change anything, but what you can do is copy the tabs. So if you just select this and then select all of these different tabs, then go to the copy function, copy, and select new notebook. Just to make it clear, in Surface Pro or some other devices, you can't select the um, sections all at once, so you have to do them individually, um, but there's only six sections, so it doesn't take too long. So once you hit this, what it will now do is it will start importing it in. Um, if you go to here, you can see it hasn't updated, and this is because it's transferring a lot of um, images and, and data. So what you have to do now is just wait. It takes a few minutes, and then what you can do is is what you'll see this change and update. So um, once it has imported, you'll see the name change, and what you can then do is just long press on this planner, and then hit this button here which closes the workbook but only do that once it's been it's transferred and it's all it's all working correctly so only do that at the end so we'll just hold off now and wait for it to to change you, so you can see now it says new notebook um so i just do view page width what we can now do is go through some of these other pages you can see the calendars are starting to come through and so are the templates just get back to templates and the templates are starting coming through as well so give it a few um, let it finish you can see in the top right here this circle bit going around so just let that finish before you close the 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 other read-only planner but you can see all of the items have started to come to come through